Yeah. Should we uh, just jump into this boring series first? I want to get it out. Yeah, of let's way. talk about yeah. that sweet goal by Jake yeah. Evans. Oh no! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was. Yeah. Bring it home to Mark Yeah. Oh shit! Come, come on, Evans. Mark. To, All right, boys. So, yeah. what do you oh. guys think? Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys um, think about that? Because I've had my opinion I, changed a bit. Yeah, mine has swayed a lot too. Um, I'm gonna go real quick because it, mine could get very opinionated. I think it was a clean hit. Yeah, but the intention yeah. was yeah. not there. Like the intention was to absolutely level this kid, and like I probably he probably didn't even know that it was Jake Evans, like a younger kid. He just thought it was an NHL player. Shifley's a grown man. Evans is like a rookie coming in. I mean, you're in the show. Keep your head up, I guess. But, I mean, the way Shifley just delivered it, it was a total charge, charging incident. The clean, like the hit was clean, but the hit was dirty at the same time, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, if you're looking at where he hit him, it was mostly chest from what I saw. I could be completely wrong. But, he, I mean, he was, like, steaming down from center ice, just, like, not even trying to get the puck off of him and stop the goal, so... And just basically <laughs> just drilling them like a train. So uh, dirty in that sense. But the suspension, yeah, maybe a bit long in my opinion. Like maybe a two, three game, but four game. I don't know. It's hard to make those calls. Like, yeah, it's just still frustrating when you see guys like get hit and suspended. And uh, still, man, I'm still salty yeah. about the Tom Wilson. Like, yeah. I'm just. No yeah. matter what suspension it's going to be, I'm still salty. He didn't get suspended. That's how I'm going to feel every suspension for a bit. Yeah, that's fair. Get suspended that's fair. <laughs> but Colton, what's your take? Well, um, so I'm, I'm, I'd say me and Curtis are pretty much on the same page there. Like, I don't know. I, I personally just, it was a, <laughs> oh my god, I haven't seen a hit that massive in like two to three years oh, yeah. like that was absolutely ridiculous and um since there's... nicholas cronwall retired dude it, exactly i was gonna say you got cronwalled like big time um the there is a picture i saw on twitter of somebody that like paused it and took a picture and you see shifley drop his shoulder like at the hash marks like you can't <laughs> dude you, you can't be lining a guy up from like actually 10 to like maybe 15 yards away from like the guy, you see him stop skating and he's gliding, sure, but he's still going really fast. So yeah, I, I and then he just lines him up and you can see his shoulder drop and you're like, uh oh, this is not gonna end well. So um, yeah, I think it was a clean hit for sure, but the intention was to injure and you can't have that be the sole reason for you lining a head up especially like he didn't even try to go for the puck even a little bit like not even a tiny bit yeah like i i actually think he yeah. could have made a really good play there if he had like dived and and like stick checked or something you know but i don't know i don't know dude it reminds me like kurt remember when we were playing uh duos like 2013 chell on all-star mode oh. and literally every time Every time you would line up a hit, you see like the CPU coming through the neutral zone. You're just like, I'm going to blow this guy up. Every single time the puck ends up in your net, but you just cranked a dude. So it's like kind of worth it. <laughs> That's kind of what this felt like. <laughs> but no, I mean, you could just, yeah, it, it's a good point that. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Um, I think it is a good point that maybe if he doesn't stop, stop skating at the top of the circle, he can get his stick on the puck. But I also think watching it in slow motion doesn't really do Shifley justice because that's such a bang-bang play. Like it, it, It's probably not even a second from the time he hits the top of the circles or the time the hit is delivered. So I'm thinking that's a decision. Like The decision to hit rather than stick check probably occurs right... like right around when he stops skating or maybe even like at the blue line, right? Where he sees him coming in around the net. He's like, I can get him before he tucks that puck in um, and then stop the goal. And that, that is what Shifley said he did. I mean, obviously you can say whatever he wants. That doesn't necessarily mean it's true, but I feel like 
at that point you're committed and then you just have to go with like like you're you're not going to be able to halfway halfway change it out um and i would also say like people looking for big hits like that like there's no problem with that um the problem with this specific hit and it's in a context that doesn't happen very often where someone just back checked literally 200 feet to make that hit right there's not very many times in a hockey game where you skate 200 feet in a straight line and then are able to deliver a hit and that's where the charge comes in and definitionally that's a charge 100 yep. percent um so on that front i think there it is not within the rules because of that specific part of the play i think the way the hit was delivered was clean big fucking hit obviously um but i mean big yeah, hits happen all the time i think if if evans if evans yeah it got crushed but if evans gets up we're not talking about this right it's yeah. it's completely non-issue yeah, exactly. um so i i don't know i i personally i thought it would be one or two games um obviously it's impossible to predict with george peros who the fuck knows what he's what's going through his head if anything um but yeah i thought that thought, i thought the suspension was a little bit harsh and i do think like as someone myself that hasn't played obviously never in the nhl and not hockey at any any sort of high level you kind of have to defer or at least consider the opinions of people that are playing the game or have played the game and i don't know if i've heard a single former or current nhl player that doesn't play for the montreal canadians say that that was a dirty hit um a lot of people you know it's the nhl you got to keep your head up he didn't really protect himself at all maybe he's not expecting it maybe it's just because that play is so unique you're not really expecting someone to be flying full speed down the ice at you um but i think you have to take into consideration what what people in the league and what people that were formerly in the league kind of what their take on it is and i mean it is true that he didn't really brace himself all that much. And you don't want to blame the guy for getting his head blown off, but um, it's not like it was a headshot. Uh, it was it, the contact of the hit was clean. Oh yeah. Um, so I don't know. I think you, that's, that's a type of hit that you absolutely cannot eliminate from the game because if you do that, you're just eliminating hitting entirely, which nobody wants. Yeah. Um, I agree. It's unfortunate that he got injured obviously. And like, hopefully he's okay, but I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think it's harsh to give Shifley four games for it. Um, and I don't even know if you can say the intent is necessarily to to injure. The intent is to blow him up. But people go into hits like that with that intention all the time in the NHL. Yeah, yeah, um, that's fair. Maybe they don't make good as good contact. Maybe they haven't skated 200 feet prior to making the hit. But it happens all 